to be able to upgrade all your LED lights in the factory, you have to remove this thing and remove this clip as well. Um, so you get this normal bulbs, which are those. And then I got the LED ones over here. So I'll turn one on. It's all nice and bright, right? So this is the front one. In the back, I currently have this one, this butt, however, this isn't the correct size. Um, you need 41 mil, not 37, 36, 37. It does work, um, but I wouldn't advise it. Depending on the size of your uh, new LEDs, um, this bracket might not fit the way you want. So what I did was I bent those two uh, to make it fit. So with the new LED lights installed, it looks like this. Which of course is a lot nicer compared to the original ugly ones. As you can see, those require different bulbs. Those um, are 41 mil, not 37. Um, so you need different ones. Then we have those and those are the same um, as the ones in the back. So that makes it quite easy. So for the front of the Vectra, it's easy to just get this complete thing out um, because it allows you to just install the bulb like this. Um, just to tell you, those are, what should be in here are T10 bulbs um, however if you press hard enough like I did um, you're able to fit T15 so the your 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 parking light for example you can use in here as long as they are small enough so everything is back as it should be so let's test this so this is how it looks with the um, doors closed and back so let's lock the car let's see what it ha what happens Well, they're staying on for now. Maybe because my bonnet is open. Um, oh wait, one door is open. So let's open this. And I think one of the, uh, the side doors is still open. So it's not that one. Not that one. There you go. All doors closed. Locking car. And here we go. Off and off. So unlocking the car. That works. So put that one on. You can see there's another one. Put that one on. Here we go. Put both on, it stays on. So, all seem to work.